Hey what's up everyone, today I've got a quick video for you all. I just got my Note 8 and you know the first thing I do is put a screen protector on it. So let's do this. Enan here from Udroid Mania and this is the Whitestone Dome. Continuing where I left off for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus, I figured I would start with one of my favorites. So when it comes to the things that you should know, I'll start with the fact that the dome protector is 100% tempered glass, it's 0.33 millimeters thin, it's got rounded edges, and it's full screen. All good things, right? Like I said before, this protector is not for those who's scared of the install. There's a lot here and you're gonna see. Just watch this video and my S8 videos on this protector a few times and you shouldn't have any problems. I'll even link Whitestone's install video down below just in case. Inside the packaging you'll find a UV light, a USB cable, some instructions, alcohol pads, a microfiber cloth, dust removers, a top and bottom frame to hold the phone for the install, the protector, and the adhesive. That's a lot of stuff. You'll even notice that Whitestone has included a second applicator, so make sure that you save this and the UV light just in case you need it later. In fact, just keep all the materials in case you need to go through this process again. First, you'll take the alcohol pad and clean your phone and make sure to dry it using the microfiber cloth. Get it completely dry. Next, place the phone inside the bottom portion of the tray. Place the top portion of the tray on and then use the dust stickers to get off any debris that's on the display. When you're ready, install the bridge. Then, remove the purple cap off the adhesive and screw that into place. Then take off the black top and let the adhesive drain. Now this is going to take about 30 seconds and you'll see me lifting the tray here to make sure that the adhesive stays in the center. Now you'll only do this if you need to. Next, you'll remove the bridge. Just pick it up using the adhesive bottle. Insert the pen into the top portion of the tray. Remove the plastic from the protector and insert it into the tray bottom first. When everything's lined up, lower the protector. Now you'll press on the bottom of the tray to get the adhesive to move to the center of the display. When it starts to touch the glass of the protector, you can remove the pen. Then relax and wait. Now for me, this took about a minute and a half or so for the adhesive to fully spread. Once it neared the bottom, I helped it along by tilting the tray. So if all is well, you can take off the top portion of the tray and start the UV process. I let the phone in thirds and I kept the light in place until it turned off. Now you can remove the phone from the tray completely and repeat the UV process. And that's it. For the note, this process is slightly easier than it was for the S8 or S8 Plus. So let's have a quick look, shall we? My suggestion here is that you let the phone fully cure overnight after going through this process if you can. Also a big must, don't put a case on this phone for at least 24 hours. Now I know some of you will have some questions, so leave those and the cases you'd like to know about in the comments down below. Whitestone was kind enough to send out 5 of these for me to share with you all, so if you'd like one, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and that you share this video on Twitter if you can. I'll choose 5 random winners next weekend on the channel so make sure you stay tuned for that. You can probably guess I'm happy that I got my Note 8 today and I can't wait to start using it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.